Hey everyone, in this video we're going to continue on to the Sculpt category of the Autodesk Fusion 360 Certified User Certification Exam Objectives. And with that, so we're going to start off by looking at Sculpt and the first objective to spotlight in this video will be create a form. So with that, we're going to take a look at, look at this. A little note as I move into Fusion and get prepared. Creating a form is not something we do a lot of if you're teaching the Introduction to Engineering Design course for Project Lead the Way. So this is something that you may take a little few, maybe a day or so just to add in. So under Create, this may show up by default in your settings if you have not customized your toolbar. So I've got mine customized for this. But if you go to the Create panel, you can also uh, choose that option under Create Form. So this loads us into our sculpt environment. And under here, again, we're looking at creating our particular form. So here you can create like a box, you can create a plane, a cylinder, sphere, torus, a quad ball, pipe, face, or a, and then also looking at doing some extrusions, revolves, sweeps, or lofts with those particular shapes. So I'm gonna take a look at just doing a box. So the first thing that'll happen is, is it'll say what type, it'll go by either center or you can do a two point rectangle, which corresponds to our sketching uh, exam objective. I'm gonna choose center, have it direction one side or symmetric. I'm gonna choose symmetric. And then we want it to be a new body, which is the only option that we have. So I'm gonna select what plane I wanna put it on. So again, it doesn't really move, but I'm gonna go ahead and have it be the center, draw the rectangle for the box. And then the center where I clicked is directly in the center for the rectangle. So from here, you can make some changes as far as, you know, the length of the faces. So this has two, I can go to four. That'll change what types of faces. The faces allow you to make some different editing choices, which we will spotlight in another video for the exam objective. And then same thing here is like the width of the faces. So you can see how it kind of changes as I change it from two to four. And then what's the sizes of these that I kind of have. So instead of maybe five inches, I'll go to six and you'll be able to see how it kind of changes the size. Here, I'm gonna to go to six as well. So these are like six by six. And again, and then here on the height, we'll go six and then change my number of faces to four. So you can kind of see this kind of box style that I get, kind of cube, symmetric direction, symmetry. I have none right now. I could choose mirror if I want to, and we can always look at, look at that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say, and this is gonna be new body, so I'm gonna say okay. And here is our sculpted shape. As I click on individual faces and everything like that, you'll see that it will tell me, like if I select a face down here, what's the loop length? Six inches. So it'll tell me about individual squares or anything of that nature. So on this, on this shape, you can also do some things like, so box, we can also have like, for example, a cylinder. So let me choose the bottom work plane. I'm gonna go off to the side here. And let me see if I can track off the origin. There we go. And I'm gonna draw a circle and here is our cylinder. Now, the one thing about these particular sculpt or forms that we have is that you're gonna notice there's really no thickness to them. They're, they're not solid geometry. So which will be something that we'll do in another exam objective. But here, what I would do is just kind of maybe have students play around with some of these. This is gonna be one, this would be something fun for them to go through, play around with what are the different types of, of options that you can go through and set in there. Again, just become familiar with what, like for example, what diameter, what are the span faces, and maybe, and what'll happen is, is in the exam objective, is they will go through and have you set in different types of settings. They'll tell you what to put in here and create the shape. And then what are some of the edit, editing options? So create the different shapes again, just practice around and, and look at some of those as well. So like here for like an extrusion, you know, you can go through, you can see here I selected a face and extruded this up or extruded this down. It works very similar to what it does in solid, except for now, like here, if I select multiple ones for the form, you can see what it extrudes to and it changes the shape as well as we go along. So this is just becoming a little bit more familiar with forms. And as you go along, just play around with this and in the next video we'll take a look at editing forms as well as in a, in a subsequent video we'll take a look at how to thicken forms to turn them into a solid.